Home to 15 million people, Kolkata is one of the largest cities in India. It sprawls across nearly 2,000 square kilometers around the banks of the Hooghly River. But this intensely urban area still retains many splashes of green. These are the remnants of the vast wet wilderness that once dominated the landscape. Made up of rivers, marshes, floodplains and lakes, the city's wetlands are home to a huge diversity of wildlife. For much of the year, they act like sponge, soaking up excess water. This helps prevent flooding. It's a good example of an ecosystem service. A benefit provided by nature that helps humans to thrive and prosper. In the milieu of climate change, wetlands and their mitigation potentials are significant. One aspect that we want to look at is the linkage between these urban and peri-urban wetlands and this natural hydrological regime. And this is particularly important in light of climate change, uh, when things like, well, when, when hydrological variability is likely to increase and there'll be more floods and more droughts in the future as a result of climate change. In the eastern fringe of the city, lies the huge and shallow East Kolkata wetland. It is the largest man-made filtering ecosystem in the world, recycling nearly a billion litres of sewerage every day. Much of the wetland consists of sewage-fed fish ponds, which help purify the water. The fish they produce, along with small-scale agriculture, provide food and income for over a hundred thousand families. জলা ছয় আমাদেরকে বাঁচাতেই হবে না বাঁচালে আমরা আগামী দিনে এলাকার মানুষ আর কিছু করে খেতে পারবে না Ecosystem services of these wetlands are more substantial for the poor.
Peri-urban wetlands have got a tremendous importance in the entire urban ecology. People not only earn money from fisheries or from agriculture, but they are culturally linked, ethnically linked to these wetlands. Horticulture in wetland areas and farming practices near peri-urban water bodies sustain many livelihoods. আগে আমাদের এই জায়গাটায় আমাদের এইখানে এরকম জিনিসটা ছিল না আস্তে আস্তে দীর্ঘ দিনে সব চাষের জমিগুলো চলে গিয়ে এখন এই সব বিল্ডিং বিল্ডিং হচ্ছে চাষের জমি চলে গেলে এরপরে তো আমাদের মনে ছাড়ার গতি নেই If you take a look on the skyline, you will find the urban development is encroaching into the wetlands. This is one problem. On the other side, the community also flouts the rules of conservation. Very urban wetlands, especially the East Kolkata wetlands, are under threat. They are vanishing fast. As the city encroaches, their ability to provide food, filtration and flood control is compromised. comprehensive conservation plan is needed that takes into account not just the need to protect biodiversity, but also recognizes the welfare of the wetland communities and the services the wetland provides to the city. তো ঠিক হচ্ছে না না এই যে সব এখন এই সব বাড়ি ঘর ধর হচ্ছে আমাদের তো অসুবিধা জলা জমি বন্ধ করলে তো আমাদের অসুবিধা আছে আমরা তো এটাই করে খাচ্ছি আমাদের ভেড়ি চড়া হয়ে যাচ্ছে ভেড়িকে সংস্কার করতে হবে when we were talking to fishers and farmers a very distinct problem that came up is the lack of policy for conservation as such we don't even have a national policy for wetland conservation a better appreciation of the huge economic benefits the wetland ecosystem services could fetch may tip the balance in the favor of the wetlanders. The bio-rights approach of South Asian Forum for Environment is one such successful conservation model. It compensates opportunity costs of the commons with payments from ecosystem services. Ecosystem services that nature provides will have to be protected if it's to be sustainably used. And this is the message that we want to give all those people who are living around the wetland that not only should they be using it, but they should use it wisely and they should also protect it. The benefits of urban wetlands speak for themselves.
But who will speak for the wetlands? <laughs>